Wait. Gonna go around. <laughs> That's a good girl. Okay. Get it. Get it. See how long it takes for you to eat that. Hey guys, okay, so the reason, oh, you know what? Before I start that, let me just tell you this. I was expecting her to finish this in 10 minutes like she did when she was a teenager. She is almost four months, uh, four more, <laughs> I wish. She is almost four years old. So she's not eating it as fast as she used to. So this kind of took like 40 minutes and she didn't even finish. It was like um, a quarter of a pound of that um, that she decided not to eat. So I just put it in the fridge. Uh, I gave it to her this morning. She's fine. Um, okay, so now that that's out of the way, um, I want to talk about taking her to work. So I used to work... In an office before I got her, I would make good money. And after I got her, I decided to just start working at dog facilities. And I did get a pay cut from that. And I thought it was worth it as long as I get to bring my dog. Little did I know. Um, I, because of the breed, I couldn't take her with me to certain jobs yeah i kept going from one job to another in the hopes of being able to bring her but at the same time grow because i did kept climbing the ladder i have been manager in different places just different things like that so finally um i reached a point where i was the manager somewhere um and even us we couldn't bring our dogs every day to work just because the grooming place was very busy sometimes there weren't enough kennels for our dogs so kind of like days like fridays and saturdays we weren't able to bring them most dog training facilities close on sundays which i've always been lucky um Besides that, I was just able to bring her like two, three times a week. And then the dog training facility where I worked at just a month ago, <laughs> um, nobody could bring their dogs. So that's something else. But now that I'm working at this new place, <laughs> um, I'm able to bring her every single day. There's enough kennels and she gets like free treatments. So that's pretty cool. She has an appointment to see the vet tomorrow. And we'll see how that goes. I told him she, they can drug her. I mean, just enough to like keep her calm so she won't bite anyone. <laughs> so, so we'll see about that. Um, and... Yeah, she, she just has to get used to being in that kennel. I am going to buy her a bed today, actually, after I, I'm editing this video. We're going to head down to a Petmar, Peco, whatever, to buy her a bed so that I can bring it to work and she's comfortable. But as you notice, she was overexcited to see me when I picked her up for my shift. That's not cool. So 
Um, I just have to get her used to knowing that I'm not abandoning her. I am leaving her there and I do have three breaks throughout my shift. So I'm constantly going to check up on her, taking her out for potty breaks, stretch her legs, walk around, run around. Yeah. So she'll get used to it when she does, you know, it'll become a habit and I won't have to stress as much to exercise her before and after work. Obviously, I'm still going to take her out, but I'm not stressed about it anymore. And she gets to spend almost every single day with me. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a cool thing to me. See how it got smaller? <laughs> But yeah, um, I will show more clips of us at work so you can see the lounge area. It's pr actually pretty cool. And so yeah, just wanted to share the good news. <laughs>